Welcome back to Poacher. Now it's time for the secret ending. Previously we saw the normal ending and it turned out pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we got Rebecca and she's on temporary exile hanging out with us. And now it's time to find out more about this narrator guy. Up to that point, the, the, the ending really doesn't change until you get to the judgment part, which is I have a save right here. Yes, you tricked me once again, you voice you. It's time to learn a little bit more about what we did on video. I did things differently. Like Gamey. I did not shoot him. He hit me a few times and I just walked away. Gamey, you're a jerk. You were pounding me in the middle of the underground. Weren't you marveling at all this stuff that was under the ground? Yeah. So, okay. That was different. This wasn't, though. He gives us the same speech no matter what. Yeah. Explain yourself, narrator man. It's time to learn all about you. I think I can question you. A uh, Blemenig? What Blemenig? I didn't shoot a single one. We knew about the worm, though. So we killed the worm and saved them all. Yay! Well, a few of them got eaten by burk w bookworms, but uh, I couldn't do anything about that. Yeah? Yeah? Where are they? Where are they? Where are all these Blemnik you said I killed? Yeah. I am defying the game's programming. Keep moving. I'll find out something that you did wrong. Like being a not poacher. Now you'll have to fight not rabbits. Look, we didn't shoot a single rabbit. Everyone thinks we're poaching when we really weren't. Yeah, this speech again. I judged them, I jailed them, kinda like you, except I can't find anything wrong with you. What's wrong with you? Why aren't you being a poacher? The game's called Poacher. Derek, you're doing things terrible! Eh? Where are these rabbits? Ah, there isn't any, is there? You're punking me. I told you! See? I just walk up my shotgun. That's just what I do. Gamey didn't believe me either. <sighs> These people with their judging and their not being voices from the underworld. Alright. Take that, judge man. Yeah. Now, are you gonna let my floaty last go? Or I'm gonna throw fire at you with my lightning? Uh, what is he on about? No, I can't. She has all my powers. I need it back. And I'm gonna have to make a cut here because, well, you know what? Let's just try it again. I'm Rebecca's ghost, Dad! Why didn't you poach things? You're making the narrator look like a fool! Have some spirit grenades. It's the exact same thing as last time. We dodged spirit grenades. And we have to free Rebecca. It's really hard to avoid these spirit grenades. I got really lucky last time. I wonder if I could repeat it here. I tend to be lucky on video. Like this! Ha ha! I jump like nobody's business. That's what the grenade should have done the last time, but it didn't. And I got hit there. I'm actually doing better this time. Ah, ghost dad scares me still. Save me! Alright, now let's blow up your father. Things have changed! I will blow up Ghost Dad with my ghost powers, and I'm kind of doing terrible at this. I keep on forgetting about the area of effect. Let it hit, let it disappear, before you move in to shoot him in the ghost body. Take that! I blew up your dad. Now, uh... Now let's have another little change in the story here. We're gonna heal up, and we're gonna save. Let's save in slot two. Why the heck not? Slot three is my practice save. Not again! No, because I like saving and having health. It's how the game works. You had the audacity to ask me who I am. 
The Egyptians called me Anubis. The Greeks, Minos. They thought naming me could help them comprehend me. I am the judge. The judge of all the earth. I have performed my function for a million generations. And I will not be made a pawn of prophecy. Welcome, the judge. The super boss of Poacher, and he is Double Balos. The key to this fight is shooting him in the eyes. But you can see they're changing and he's not taking a lot of health. It's because you have to work down these eyeballs one at a time. So you want to keep their health about even. You can tell by the, the color on their eyes. And he's going to be shooting blue energy pellets at you the entire time. He shoots blue, the Dark Lord shoots red, and he shoots a lot of bullets compared to the Dark Lord. And it kind of requires some tricky jumping and or good random number generator. Because sometimes his abilities will stack up and he just plain can't dodge it in time. Kind of like that. Once he gets down to 50% he gains another bullet ability too. Which is kind of annoying. That, right there. The random spray. You can't predict it, you could hardly dodge it. Yeah. Who got a grenade in his eye? You. Vizine won't get that red out. Ghost red. That's the only trick for getting over that floor laser. You gotta jump over it. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Alright, that, that eye's looking pretty red. I need to work at this one over here. But he seems to be vehemently protecting it. Let me shoot your eye. You've been judging me this entire game, and I did not approve of that. Let me get over there! Stop blocking it with your pellet lasers! Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. As you can see, the vertical beam thing, it's not that hard to dodge. Not in the least. All you have to do is know where to stand, and I've practiced at this, so I know where to stand. Ah, cripes. I accidentally blew up his eye too much. That's what happens. And the downside of that is now his bullets will only go out of that one eye. But I killed him anyway. Luckily I brought the heal thing along, even though the rest of this encounter... Is there more? Come on, he's a super boss. This can't be it. Look, they're giving us health. And platforms! Oh no. No, 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 it's hell templing at me. I don't like this. I'm not happy. I am upset. Oh, maybe it's just an express way out. Maybe? Right, don't give my hopes up. No! I knew I shouldn't have given my hopes up! There he is. He's not happy. Hi, Judge Guy. What happened to your eyes? I don't know. But he's gonna start shooting lightning out of them. Welcome to Phase 2. He's going to be shooting lightning, and he does it eight times. I think that was number four. And when he's done doing that, uh, I guess there's something we do to hit him. This may be. He's in the background kind of that. That was tricky. That was, that was not sporting of you at all. You see that? He kind of delayed there. I don't like him. And now he's trying to bite at us. Give him some impromptu sur uh, dental surgery, and he goes back to what he's doing. But he fires lightning a little bit faster. And that's what's pretty much phase two is. This is the hardest part of the boss fight. This is where I get stuck a lot. Because you have to predict the movements and count and jump and shoot his teeth. But luckily it's these first two. Lightning bolts are kind of slow, but uh, that kind of makes it tricky for jumping because the platforms, they are not slow. Get that teeth out of my face. Get your face out of my face. Please? Alright, it's a good thing I know how to tank. Alright, stop hitting me with lightning! I'm not happy about lightning! That's what happens when you die. Alright, let's see if I can't get back there. Derek Badger! One does not simply get struck by lightning like a baseball or a shoe. No, the judge is angry. 
making a storm. The electrons all say, I'm leaving you! I go to the land of opportunity! The ground says, Come! We need electrons trained in poaching like you! Welcome! So they start building a ladder. You come out to kill the judge. You do not see the invisible ladders. And when the ladders connect, BOOM! They rush to the land of opportunity! You, sir, are in the way! Ah! Alright, I just chased them off for the second time, so we're back where we started. On part three of phase two. You shoot lightning really, really quickly. And it's hard to jump. Really hard to jump. Sometimes you want to tank a lightning bolt, but uh, you may want to save your health for later. Here's his third chase. Check out my teeth! Your teeth are ugly and they're stupid. And he's like, what? Have more lightning then! Oh wow, that's really fast. Judge man, don't kill me! I'm scared. I'm not so scared when I tank it. Sometimes in the last two phases, you might as well just stand on the platform and take what's coming to you. I judge a lightning bolt for one. Teeth for another. Alright, get away from me, Lapels. Your teeth are ugly and they're stupid! I will win! You can't shoot me with lightning! I'm... I'm not lightning proof. Not in this game. Please don't shoot me with lightning. Stop. I'm asking you nicely. Also, the teeth shall go wanting. Alright. Can I chase him off? Can I not get shot by whatever that thing is? Yeah! Get away! Thank you. Alright, good. We're done with that phase. On to phase three. Yes! He's teethless, he's eyeless, he's pissed. This guy, not as hard as the other two. Every time you shoot him, he'll shoot bullets back. And he doesn't really have health. You just have to be really careful where you stand and where you shoot. Just try whenever you're transferring to a platform, that's when you shoot him. Just be careful about it, and you should see the end of this guy. Oh yes. Yes! I've done it! Only took my second try! Don't fall off these platforms. You will still die. Be very, very, very careful. Ah, the light. I see the light. I see the light of not Hell Temple. Ah, I can't believe I did that on my second try. That, that was great. That was excellent. I'm happy. Look at this, he's not even shooting spirit grenades at us. I've done something good! Let's just get the heck out of here. Okay. Get the heck out of here, but not all the way back down. Because of my stupidity. I can't die at this point. It's not possible. I forbid it. I forbid death from ever occurring again. I've, I've kinda abolished that thing. I kinda have abolished hell. We destroyed the judge. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Here we are at the Lead and Brock Sea. The fish are still fish and the spikes are still spikes. And also, those jellyfish are back. Kill them all. I've killed a judge today. I could deal with jellyfish. Oh, hello. What's that? For eons shall the judge of all the earth rule the abyss. It's a story about the judge. I like reading it because it's like an epic thing, kind of like, um, kind of like Balos was. And the judge's speech for that matter. That's fun to read too. I wonder if there's any more of those. That can't be all the story. I mean, we, we had to have a purpose. Oh, by the way, these, uh, some of these enemies are still here. You can see the skull piles kind of went missing. They must have been a dark one of some sort. Alright. I know your trick now. Ha! Money! I killed a judge today. I think I deserve some cash. Yeah, the judge wasn't really full of money. I guess he didn't really need it. He was a public servant. That's right, Bat. You go away. I want to read that platform, that tablet thing over there. It's suddenly become La Milana. Until the coming of the man of true virtue, wrongly condemned. That's us! 
Oh, this... Yes, I'm not falling for it twice. I knew there were spikes there. I just wanted to hit them the last time. And now it's time for more target jumping. I could deal with anything! I've killed the judge of all the underground. I wish I was magnetic to spear grenades. Here's another one. With fire at his hands and lightning at his back. That fits us pretty well. Even though it was spear grenades, we didn't really have lightning. We had healing powers instead. We were more like a paladin. Alright, we could, uh, we could cheese our way through this now, because... Inexplicably, the little... what are they called again? Those dark moss things, the dark tangelas, they're kind of missing from the equation now. I wonder why that is. Did we do something? Well, anyway, it makes this platforming area a little bit easier. Oh, one last tablet. Who will finally ease the burden of the weary one? So, we've done a good thing. We killed him, therefore he can't do his job and he could collect his pension pay for the rest of his life. But the death thing is kind of a problem, though. Alright, might as well save over my practice. I don't need it anymore. 100%! What has changed in the ending? Do we still have to fight the Dark Lord? Well, bring it on. I could take him and his iPod blaring music. Oh, hey, the king's alive! That's different! No, actually, we kicked the crap out of whoever runs the Abyss. We own it now! It was getting boring. And we killed the judge of everything, too. The Dark Ones invaded the surface world! Oh no, the Dark Ones are actually dark! We didn't see it coming? They just died! They killed over! I guess the air didn't agree with them. Or their magic just went away. Huh. The judge had something to do with the Dark Ones? Wow, that's... that's symbolic. Oh, what happened to us? What what happened to the surface? Tell us, gamey. I wish I could read that in the newspaper. It's like we abolished everything bad in the world. Well, that means good is impotent, and therefore we can't exist. Puff of logic. No, it doesn't seem that way. Wow, that's boring. Let's all have a drink. King, a round is on me. I have all this money. Alright, let's just check in with the wife first, show her a floaty lass. All negativity's gone from the world, so she won't freak out. And we finally realized that uh, Ms. Stodgley is Derek's wife now. Mrs. Mrs. Badger is now Ms. You know what I mean. And that has been Poacher, the secret ending. We killed the judge, we killed the narrator. And that means someone else has to take over for narrating duties. Might as well be Derek himself! Let's see the credits done by Derek. The strapping young lad of our town. That guy. The floaty lass is knocking around in me bonds. Oh, these are fun words to say. There's Gamey, aka Archibald Stodgley, but no one calls him that. We have a lot in common. We have floaty lasses in our brain. This floaty lass right here. Oh wait, he's a guy? I didn't know that! I thought he was a Watson! And the king! Hey... He didn't really mention it, Derek. You're okay there. You're good. Keep narrating. Tablemonig! Cave Yodas. That's what I call them. The Blemonic Gossip. And then explode. How about a cup of tea, me ducks? The rabbits! And taters. Don't forget those taters. Please don't say what's taters precious. Rabbit with an arc on! I guess that means they were jerks. The Flappy Bastard! That's a great name for them. I'm going to refer reference them as Flappy Bastards from now on. Vargas, he doesn't have a new name for this guy. All the blood pies. All the blood pudding. No, not all the blood pudding. 
the purple thing. He didn't even call it the Tangela, but it looks like his mom in laws favorite hat. The Blobs! He doesn't know they were actually Magus or Larva of some sort. Yeah, that's, that's TMI there. Bad birds! They are terrible birds that live in the underground. And they will stay there. They are negative. They'll destroy- they'll be destroyed on land. Yeah, you don't want to take that in the other cra carriage. I agree with you there, there. That would be unpleasant. He doesn't know they're called Chilosaurs. Probably from ramming in the walls constantly when they get shot. The Baby Charger! Yeah, they're kids and their rock music. Not unlike the title music. Those gobbing flowers. I don't know what gob means, but I don't. I, I don't think I want to know. The Daft Blemenig. They were just being a bit thick. That's why we didn't kill them. Bookworm. They really hate sandcastles and also grenades. Try grenades on them. See how they react. Bookworm's dad. This looks like a combination of Pac-Man and Mont Blanc. Or a Moogle. Just any Moogle. <laughs> yeah, she'll be in for a surprise when it jumps out and eats her. The Yo-Yo Jellyfish. Uh, that one's lost on me, Derek. I'm not that British. I'm sorry. Plenty fish, sea ball, but not as much as Derek does. Trust me, you don't want to see him at a farty party, which is a taco and chili party. Don't want to mess with that thing either, unless you have grenades in your brain. Scully Bunch. Well, actually, they kind of do have brains. A few times I fought against him, he dive bombed at me. Pasty chap. And also a tan. Maybe some vitamin D in his life should do him some good. Mr. Skullhead. <laughs> uh, just try, Derek. Just try. The Bunchy Spiders! Should have brought me helmet. I didn't know I was going to fall into the underground today. The Giant Spider. As I said in a normal ending, it was something with Spyrite that made the spider grow that big. The Dark Ones. Yeah, they were. They were kind of wusses. We didn't fight a single one. And they kind of just vanished. The Dark Lord! We didn't fight him in his version, so he's the nanciest of them all. We found his iPod, and it had this music on it. Judge of all the Earth. Some big fat ponce with a Narcon. Use that in everyday conversation, I dare you. And Gamey got drunk under the table by Rebecca. Yeah, Derek didn't even start his beer yet. What a featherweight. He got out drank by a ghost. <laughs> and Magnus, he had some kind of fruity drink like a fuzzy navel or something like that. Has been it for Poacher. Do we have anything else? We've seen this like two or three times before. Thanks a lot, you guys. Oh, hey, there's the visual, visual inspiration again. The bloke from Emmerdale. I forgot somebody had a name for that guy that was on the picture, and I forgot who it was already. They know who they are and know what they said. Once again, developed in Game Maker, which wasn't that bad. I expected the boss to ha give me a lot more trouble than it did. I guess practice paid off. 100%! Of course we unlock Zero Suit Derek again, because it's a different save. And of course Lord of the Manor. But I've shown them off already. We got the judgment ending. We judged the judge. And we judged him eyeless. And teethless. And skullless. Uh, it wasn't as much effort as I hoped it was. Yeah, you're kind of run there, Yahtzee. But I'll leave you to it. And we're done. Back to the title screen we go. I still don't have all the achievements, but you know what? Heck, what heck with it. I killed the judge. Judge this, judge man. All right. Uh, this is the end of Poacher. 
I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time for another game. It's probably going to be another platformer type game. Uh, seen in a way you usually haven't seen it done. And then I have plans for another RPG, which is actually quite fun. So this has been Poacher. Please don't poach things. Be friendly to your rabbits. I'm Irma Chocobo. Good night, folks.